Good morning and welcome to Channel 74 News. I'm Emily Gustafson and today is Thursday, January 27th. Alex, do you know how many subscribers we added after our last show? Mm, 50? A little lower. 25? We added three. Well, three is better than zero. Just a reminder, you can subscribe by looking up our YouTube channel on YouTube. Mental health is an important issue and the pandemic has certainly not helped. One program at SASHA's addresses the need for mental health assistance. It's called Gray Matter and started last winter. That's right, Emily. Each semester, Gray Matter forms new groups, and Delaney spoke with social worker Mrs. Carbaugh Here's about the program. Here's Delaney. Thanks, Alex. Mrs. Carbaugh, thank you for joining us today. For students who don't know, what is the Gray Matter program? So Gray Matter is an opportunity for students to come together to really help focus on changing their mindset if they're struggling a little bit with some anxiety, depression, life things, school things. It's really an opportunity to really help them change their mindset in a group setting. So how many groups do you have for the new semester and are you taking new members? Great question. Yeah, so we have three groups currently running that just started this week and we plan to have more groups um, in the future within the next six weeks. How many students are in a group? Usually it's four to eight students. We won't have more than eight. and Typically it's been about five. So if a student is experiencing mental health issues, what can they do? So if students are experiencing any kind of mental health, any struggles, um, we really encourage them to come down to the guidance area, whether it's talking with me as a school social worker, talking with their guidance counselor, and we can connect them with school-based counseling. They can go through our student assistance program to determine what steps are um, best appropriate for them. Uh, but there's lots of resources and we're happy to guide them if they come down to guidance. Uh, thank you for your time. I do hear today is your birthday. Happy birthday and best of luck with Gray Matter. Back to you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Delaney, for that report. If any of you ever have a mental health issue, please talk to a teacher or counselor. We have some big news on the annual Scholastic Awards contest. Alex, why don't you tell them about it? Sure, Emily. Congrats to the following artists and writers who are honored at the 2021 to 2022 Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Kylie Burkholder, Silver Key in Drawing and Illustration. Claudia Castro Gomez, two honorable mentions and a Silver Key in Photography. Jaden Geiergeip, Silver Key in Printmaking. Sarah Williard, Silver Key in Drawing and Illustration. Shalena Potts, Gold Key in Humor, honorable mention in Science Fiction and Fantasy. Silver key in poetry and gold key for her writing portfolio. A few announcements. Bird Watching Club meets Tuesday, February 1st during Flex in Room 30. The Interactive Media Club is hosting a Mario Kart tournament on February 10th after school. The entry fee is $3 and there will be cash prizes. See Hayden Highlands or Mr. Mikesell in Room 77 about signing up. Softball Open Gym tonight is only for pitchers and catchers. Again, Softball Open Gym is 8 to 9 tonight and only pitchers and catchers. Key Club meets today in the cafeteria. And this is big news. Country Meat Sticks are back and available in Mrs. Janich's room for only $1. That's it for today. Here's our cheerleaders in the Maroon Platoon to send us home. See you on Tuesday.